Whoops, I dropped my paper right as I pushed the record button. <laughs> hey guys, day 95, uh, April 5th. Today the block of scripture is going to be Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 through 68, Luke chapter 11, verse 14 through 36, Psalm 77, verse 1 through 20, and Proverbs 12, verse 18. Today I want to look at specifically Psalm 77, verse 11. Um, this, this psalm is a, another good one. I like the psalms that at the top it says it's a psalm of Asaph, Asaph, A-S-A-P-H, whoever that is. I, I really like his psalms. They, they seem really good. They, they really speak to me. But anyways, um, that's coming from a guy who doesn't like the psalms very much. But Psalm 77, verse 11, it says, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. This psalm starts with uh, this, this guy who's, who's uh, struggling. He's having all these, these trials, these tribulations, these problems. And he doesn't see what God's doing. But you know what? When you don't see what God's doing, you can look back and see what he's done. Sometimes that's, uh, that's all we've got. It's hard to see what God's doing. We, we can't see where He is at work in our, our mess. But if we look back, we can see what He's done. We can see His faithfulness, both in our lives, in our parents' lives, if we had godly parents or grandparents. Back in our, our history in the Bible, we can look at that, and we can see God's greatness and His faithfulness. And when we see that He is a great and faithful God, and see that He is never changing, it can give us that little bit of faith that we need to continue pressing on through whatever struggle we currently have. So, if that's you today, take some time. Maybe even sit down with a piece of notebook paper and just jot down on that paper the things that the Lord has done for you. And that will encourage you so you can press forwards. Take care.